Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Moisture and Motivate. Okay, so I am super excited as always. Y'all know I have my handy dandy products. I am still using my rose water and we are getting through it. Okay, halfway, almost halfway gone. And then I have my love, absolutely love this lock oil by Oki Naturals in the sweet and spicy scent, y'all. This is a God scent. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I literally love it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes, Oki Natural. Bay. Bay. Okay. So uh, today we are going to be talking about imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome, and this question or this topic came from a question that I get a lot, um, and it's, you know, do I have to be an expert in my industry? And honestly, I really, I love this question because I love the answer to it. Um, you know, a lot of people think that they have to have all the answers, that they have to be considered an expert for someone to listen to them or to even, you know, what they say to consider it important. A lot of people think that they just have to have years and years of experience and years and years and of knowledge. And while, of course, that is beneficial and, of course, um, you know, that's great to have, it's not necessarily true. Um, I love to tell people when answering this question that as long as you are, you just have to be one step ahead of the person who doesn't know anything or the person who is trying to learn something. Like, if you literally think, if you think about where you are and how many steps you take, you've taken to get to where you are. So let's, let's walk through this, okay? So from, let's see, deciding you want to start the business, that's the first step, right? Deciding, deciding you want to start the business, start the project, start the idea, doing the research, getting more information on that, on your topic, finally picking your niche, your product, whatever it is you want to um, sell, understanding your target audience, getting the products and the manufacturers and the digital, whatever it is that you're doing, getting the actual the, the products and stuff that you want to sell, to finally selling it, like literally write down, mark the things that you have done and you are how many? One, two, three, four, five steps of the person in front of the person who hasn't done anything. So those are one, two, three, four, five steps, five topics, five pieces of advice, five pieces of information that you can give to someone who doesn't know anything, who hasn't even decided to start a business, who doesn't know the first step in starting a business, who doesn't understand where they need to go. You have something to share with someone who hasn't done anything. And so to you, you are, or to them, excuse me, you are valuable. You are an asset. You are so important because you know something that they do not know. So I love when people say, do I have to be an expert? You don't have to be an expert because again, you know something that someone else doesn't know so you can share your knowledge, you can share your experience, you can help them because they haven't started and you've at least done the first five or so steps. You see what I'm saying? So it's not about being an expert. It's truly about starting, seeing what's what's done that's right, what you did right, what you did wrong, and being able to share those experiences with someone who has no clue with what to do. You see what I'm saying? So absolutely love that. You don't have to be an expert in your industry. You just simply have to advise with, you can, you can have a course, you can have a workshop, a webinar, you can start a YouTube channel just sharing the information that you know, but also with the goal of monetizing that information because you have gone through certain things and you've learned the rights and the wrongs, the ins and the outs. You've learned everything. So now you can share it with someone so that they don't have to go through the same problems that you went through. So you are valuable. It's just a matter of making sure that you're sharing what you're learning, that you're documenting so that people can have something to follow, so that people can find you valuable, can find you trustworthy, and um, want to learn more from you. So y'all, that 
is it. So don't worry about, oh, I'm not an expert. I've only, you know, I just started my business like a year ago or maybe even three months or whatever. You are still one step, at least one step ahead of the person who hasn't done anything. You can still share, advise, and get monetized for it, okay? So don't let that stop you. Do not worry about this so-called imposter syndrome. Don't know. You are capable. You are valuable. Your experiences, people want to know about it. You have something to share. So don't let anything stop you from sharing it and from getting to where you need to get. But that's really all I wanted to share with you all. I truly hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any more questions for uh, Moisture and Motivate as I would love to talk with y'all about it. Sorry, I'm trying to finish spraying these logs here. <laughs> but thank y'all so much for watching. Again, I hope this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe um, and follow me on Instagram at Celeste underscore and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.